you must have listened to the story of a tortoise and hare. At that time, tortoise won the race as the hare became complacent. The story continues. The hare was disappointed that he hadn't won. He realized that he had been overconfident and careless. If he had not taken things for granted, he would have won the race. So he challenged the tortoise to another race. Tortoise agreed. This time, the hare went all out and won the race by several miles. But this is not the end of the tale. The dejected tortoise then approached the coach, the elephant, and narrated his story. The elephant listened to the tortoise's story intently and empathetically. Thereafter, the dialogue between the elephant and tortoise goes as follows. I feel dejected. I am sad. I understand why you are feeling dejected and sad. Let us talk. What would you like to achieve from our conversation? I am looking for a plan so that I can win the race with the hare. Hmm. You want to win the race with the hare. What would you like to achieve by winning the race with the hare? I will regain my self-respect. What do you mean by self-respect? Self-respect is when I feel good about myself. When I feel strong, competent, positive and successful. I got it. Let us deep dive. What do you think are your strengths? I am steady, determined, focused and consistent. You are steady, determined, focused and consistent. Indeed, these are great qualities that shall help you succeed in your life. Can you think of any particular strength that you have but hair does not have? Hmm, let me think. Yes, I can travel comfortably on any terrain, whether land or water, which hair cannot. Voila! How can you utilize it in the race with the hair? I don't know. The race track is such that hair has an advantage over me as he runs very fast on the ground. Is the race track between you two permanently fixed or a new track can be proposed? Hmm. It is not fixed. Possibly, I can propose a new track for the next race. In that case, what kind of track would you like to propose? Let me think. Yes, in a jungle I know a track wherein one needs to cross a river. I will have an advantage over the hare on that track. Wow, this is a eureka moment for me. Hey, I feel a positive shift in your energy. How are you feeling now? I am feeling positive. I can do it. I am so happy with our conversation. Thank you. You are most welcome. I am happy for you. What do you plan to do now? I am getting clarity on my plan. Now I am going to propose a new track to Hare that goes across the river. I know that Hare is overconfident after having won the previous race. And he will accept my proposal without going into much detail. Good. What will be your next step now? I am going to meet her right away and propose him a new race. I wish you all the best. See you soon. The story continues. The hare agreed for the race and sprinted off in his usual manner until he came to a very wide river. The finishing line was on the other side of the river and so the hare sat there wondering what to do. Meanwhile, the tortoise came from behind reached the river, swam across and finished the race. The lesson. The essence of coaching is in raising awareness and unlocking the true potential. Coach helps the client to discover the way forward and learn rather than teaching or advising. Coaching leaves behind failures and limited beliefs and shifts the focus of attention on the client's strengths, successes, future possibilities and actions that need to be taken now. Although the power of coaching is evident from this story, this is also not the real end. The story will continue in our team coaching video. Keep watching.